I first got involved in the project um, after do, being involved in a curriculum development project with Ulster Scots. Um, part of that project involved going around different schools and talking to teachers and principals. And it became obvious to me after talking to them that what really they were looking for was a resource which explored both aspects of the two main cultural traditions in, in Northern Ireland rather than just one. So that, that started me thinking and um, with the integrating education team we got together. They arranged a partnership with other schools in Portadown and we developed a framework for producing a, a pilot project. Because we believe that integrated education is the way forward, we decided that the integrating education project was the appropriate project for us. We've been involved, I would say, probably proactively for the last five years, um, trying to develop citizenship education within our own school. Um, as a result of the diverse religious backgrounds of our children, we also have more cultural diversity coming through in the last two to three years. Uh, the GoPids project was bringing students from Stranmillis College to three round different sectors of education, where here in Ockbreda we are part of the controls, control sector, and so those students were able to have a day in Ockbreda and see how we operate. Uh, another day was spent at an integrated school, Lagan College, to see whether there are any differences between us and Lagan, and then a third day was spent in a, maintain, in a maintained school in St Joseph's. So my involvement was by bringing the teachers from those schools and the students for a day at Nochbreda to see how we function and how we operate and a chance to meet our pupils. Well, it's just been personally very encouraging. I've been involved in, in all sorts of joint work, uh, bringing people from two traditions together over many years. But to see the school move kind of structurally and culturally in that direction has been very rewarding and it's it's great to see opportunities for children uh, in the curriculum context to be studying subjects, particularly arts type subjects together, where they can explore diversity through the arts, but also in a sort of extracurriculum and way outside of school and residential contexts for them to be able to meet, uh, divest themselves of their uniforms and just get to know each other as, as young human beings and see all they have in common. I think uh, first and foremost, um, it's made me address my own personal baggage and the issues that I bring to integrated education and to the activities that, that we're going to be looking at. Um, obviously quite a lot of them are to do with identity. I felt that Northern Ireland was changing and that it was no longer just looking at the two communities in Northern Ireland and it was more a multicultural society. And certainly in our school in Nockbreda, we have a range of pupils from places as different as Malawi, China, um, and more so now Eastern European. And I felt it would be good for our pupils to see what their lives were like and why they came here and what their cultural identity was. We um, made invaluable contacts, and I think that's extremely important in the teaching profession. In many ways, it can be quite a lonely profession um, when you're in your classroom. But by coming out, you um, make contacts with other schools. Those schools, obviously, now we can, we can maybe forge links um, more effectively between the schools that we're involved. And for me personally also, it's been effective in focusing me on the issues around integration. Um, it's been, as, as a practitioner, reflecting on um, aspects of integration that I have, um, projects that I've developed, but also thinking about how can I improve on my practice as a practitioner, how can I make the learning experience and the integrational experience more effective for the students that I have in front of me. I suppose it's made the whole process easier, but there's also the reassurance that uh, we are going in the right direction, that we're not doing something outside of the nice principles. Um, all the stakeholders are involved in, in the process, we have governors, parents, um, representatives from students as well as staff. The school that we're involved with is such a diverse mixture of children and um, just this past few years we've got more children from different cultures um, so we are very unique. Mm -hmm. You know we are a Catholic school but we do have a lot of children from different faiths, different backgrounds, different cultural backgrounds. Well personally I find it rewarding and an enriching experience. Um, firstly because it's, it's really encouraged me to recognise that um, an expression of our cultural identity can be a very positive thing and not a negative thing, the way sometimes it may be portrayed in the media. I feel from my aspect, um, especially working with yourselves at NICI, I got an insight into a lot of the things that, goes, that go on, if you like, outside of our little primary school setting. So I was able to see what we have in common, what we have that's different, and it was good just to walk into those schools and to say, yep, 
that's very similar to our school or that's very different. And I think I got to see the wealth of resources that are out there that could be used with children of different faith backgrounds, different um, cultural diversities. We've been able to share our own personal experiences about culture. We've been able to share our classroom experiences. Also to talk about teaching and learning strategies and then to produce um, the, the framework document to be used in, in our schools. I think that it has made a difference in the way that I teach um, because certainly within citizenship for a start it certainly makes you think more practically about having um, diversity in your classroom. Well what we have in place now is a series of um, different aspects of school life that maybe will provide more of a focus on integration. We've also got um, a few different things which give the students um, ownership and uh, maybe hold us teachers in check as well. But, uh, one of the projects asks students to assess their uh, school to see how integrated it is which will have uh, interesting consequences and another is about them campaigning and um, maybe we'll link into the student council initiatives uh, where they, they have a voice within the school? Well the vision's almost ready. Um, as I said it's been a long process because as we call it we've gone around the houses which is involving all the stakeholders. They all have to buy in it and have uh, ownership of it uh, and Plain has been very good at, at helping us through that process. The children are experiencing more, more different situations but also too that this project will help them to realise that working together within their class, at their class, group, no matter what it's made up with, who it's made up of, that that's what they should be celebrating, that diversity is a, a thing to be celebrated and also to experience on all different types of levels. Well, the, the capacity uh, to handle the concepts around integrating education and shared provision is much higher now than it would have been prior to our involvement in this project. Really, instead of it being sort of like a them and us scenario, we just became us, which I think was very important to the pupils and that we didn't just sit and discuss how we were different. You're being more reflective, thinking about more resources, liaising more with nice say, whereas before we wouldn't really have been in, you know, involved much with you. So as a, as a teacher, it's about being more reflective and I think that's, that's a good thing and it's good for the children's sake and hopefully throughout Northern Ireland, more teachers will see that there are resources out there that they can use and they can bring their own, you know, they can bring it into their school, they can adapt it in their own ways. We now stand for uh, an inclusive approach to education and uh, that the more integrating we do, the better it will be for all of us. The capacity is now much higher. Well, we're very excited about the project and we hope to pilot it in September. Um, and we're going to do that in as many, as many classes as possible between the three schools. Well, very often in the past, um, teachers have shied away from looking at uh, cultural diversity. But now with the new, new revised curriculum, we're all being encouraged to look at similarities and differences in culture um, in our communities. So this project will help teachers fulfil aspects of the personal development programme of the new curriculum. But I would hope a pack of this nature and future developments, if we, were, you know, if we could extend the project, uh, future developments um, would ensure that schools are specifically looking at integration, specifically looking at the hard issues. There's nothing to beat actually bringing kids together and, uh, and make, making them uh, comfortable in a situation so they can talk things out themselves. And uh, I mean, we've had, we've had many examples of that kind of thing, as I've said, both within a formal context and within a, an informal context, after school concerts and the like. There's a wealth of diversity, there's a wealth of change and it's important that we celebrate that diversity and we make those children feel welcome, that we all work together, we all live together in the community and as a teacher that's made me more aware of that there definitely and that as Colette said there are so many resources out there, there's so many people working together and I think it's important that we keep pushing that.